Jesus, can you rise up on your feet? It's too early to be tired. I want us to rise up on our feet. If you can remember one thing that God has done for you. If you can remember one thing that God has done for you. I want you on your own dialect. Begin to appreciate God. Begin to thank God this morning. Begin to thank Him this morning. Begin to thank Him. Thank Him this morning. Thank Him this morning. Thank Him this morning. Is it on the road? Is it on the air? Is it on the land? Even our house. Just thank God this morning. Thank God this morning. Father Lord, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. We thank you, we thank you, Father, we thank you. She they can't make it go. I'm going to 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 make it go. I'm in jesus name we pray in jesus wonderful name we pray can we bow on our knees? Bow on your knees to thank this God. Father Lord, in Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we worship. Our daddy and our Lord, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning that has no end, our strength, our comforter, the I am that I am, the opposite of God for our life, the ocean divider. Oh, my face, Swani. Oh, go back to open the lawn. I'm not keeping any way. Well, I'm going to walk as you go. Father, we are thanking you. Father, we are thanking you. Father, we are thanking you. Thanking you. Who is like unto thee? From generation to generation, you are God. You change it now. Man can change. The keeper of life. The giver of life. Emmanuel, we thank you. Jehovah Yahweh will bow before you. Father Lord, we say thank you. The bright and morning star will give you all the glory. Our Father in heaven, we have gathered this day. To say, Baba, you do well, you do well, you do well, you do. Baba, you do well, you do well, you do well. You do. Baba, you do well in our life, you do well. Baba, you do well. Baba, you do well. Baba, you do well, you do well, you do well, you do well. Daddy, you have done us well. Even on our faithfulness, Lord, you remain faithful. What can we give unto you in return? We have nothing to give to you today than to say, Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for your divine provision. Thank you for your divine protection. Thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for answer prayer. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for Dominion family. Thank you for our father's house. Thank you for everyone that named after us. Father, we say thank you. Father, we say thank you. Thank you in the air, you are there with us. Thank you in the land, you are there with us. Thank you in the sea, you are there with us. Thank you in our home, you are there with us. Our going out, you preserve us. Our coming, you preserve us. Father, we say thank you. Father, we say thank you. Dominion Gate is say thank you. Dominion Family is say thank you. Our Father says we say thank you. Father, we worship you. We say for all you have done, we say take all the glory. We say take all the honor. We say take all the adoration. Father, Lord, we are committing our life into your hands. 
You have made us to see the last day of year 2022. By your grace, by your mercy, and by your loving kindness, we shall be alive this year, next year, in Jesus' name. We shall be complete. Our family shall be complete. In Jesus' name. Above all, Lord, you shall make us to know you better. Amen. You shall make us to worship you better. Amen. And you shall bring our dream speedily before the year comes to the quarter of the year. You will answer us. Amen. You will answer us. Amen. You will answer us. Amen. And you will give us surprises because we started the year with you and we will end it with you. That we have nothing to give to you. We don't have silver. We don't have gold. The only thing we have this day to give unto you is to say, Father, thank you. Father, thank you. Father, thank you. Father, thank you. We are not better than those that have lost their life. But your mercy has kept us. For this, we bow before you. We kneel before you. We say, Father, accept our thanks. The name of God, the Father. The name of God, the Son. And the name of God, the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' wonderful name, we pray. Somebody shout hallelujah. Say to your neighbor, say neighbor, it's time to pray. Jam your hands together as you welcome Pastor Faithwell for the first session. Jam your hands together for Jesus. Keep clapping and stand on your feet. We are taking over. We are crossing over. Taking over. The Lord is taking over. He's taking over, the Lord is taking over, he's taking over, he's taking over, Jesus is taking over, everybody sing, yeah, Jesus is taking over, he's taking over, he's taking over, the Lord is taking over, he's taking over, he's taking over. He's taking over dominion gates. He's taking over your family. He's taking over your life. He's taking over. The Lord is taking over your life. He's taking over your days. He's taking over all. The Lord is taking over. Shout out. of thanksgiving and prayers you are going to hold on to your neighbor with every boldness with every alacrity and in love hold on to someone you love i want to in one minute to say lord i thank you for my brother i thank you for my sister 2022 was a very terrible year but i thank god you are here i thank god you made it i thank god you are designed for another beauty you are designed for another glory come on speak thanksgiving into that soul speak thanksgiving into that heart speak thanksgiving into that destiny praise the lord for that family thank him for those children thank him for that business of that family that survived thank him for the academic pursuit that was a wonderful glory come on somebody Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Give God thanks. Give him thanks. Give him thanks. Give him thanks. Give him thanks. Hallelujah. Give him thanks. Thank him for those challenges that he was able to overcome. Thank him for those challenges that she was able to overcome. Thank him for the sicknesses that was rolled away. Thank him for those infirmities that God delivered him from. Thank him, thank him, thank the Lord Almighty. Give him all the glory. 
Somebody shout a loud amen. Our daddy said, I should lead us in a prayer of mercy. We have given thanks. Just two prayer points. And you are going to pray it with all your power. You are going to pray it with all your might. You are going to choose another friend tonight. You are going to speak into that life. That mercy like a cloud shall descend. When my brother told me of this, I just had a voice. Pray for the cloud of mercy to descend. You are going to pray for a thick cloud of mercy to descend over that life over that family somebody's already praying over his business over her business over dominion get ministries let the cloud of god's mercy descend let the cloud of god's mercy descend everything in the year 2023 shall be mercy 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 he said i will show mercy unto whom i would mercy 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 the cloud of god's mercy shall descend much more than it was in the year 2022 i see cloud of mercy i see cloud of mercy on families i see cloud of mercy over businesses i see cloud of mercy over ministries i see cloud of mercy over the departments in the house of god i see cloud of mercy over our children i see cloud of mercy over destinies come on cloud of mercy cloud of mercy cloud of mercy to shield you cloud of mercy to move with you cloud of mercy to go before you cloud of mercy 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 yes it is coming yes it is coming yes it is over your life yes it is over the sanctuary the cloud of mercy the cloud of god's mercy is over you now it's over you now. It's over you now. Somebody shout a louder amen. amen. If you are here, shout a louder amen. amen. 2023 is your year. Amen. I say it's your year. Amen. If that is you, put your hands together for the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now you are going to lay your two hands on your head and pray. That is for you now. That in the year, I keep telling people, I said 2022 has been my best year since past 10 years. And I thank God I am identified with our Father in the Lord. You are going to pray with those two hands on your head. This thick cloud enter into my life right now. Enter into my marriage right now. Enter into my family right now. This thick cloud of mercy. In the year 2023, as our Father and the Lord has decreed and declared, let it begin to manifest from now. Somebody begin to pray in the mighty name of Jesus. By this time, next year, by this time in the next 12 months, you will see the evidence and the manifestation of mercy. Mercy, 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 mercy in my life, mercy in my destiny, in the name of Jesus, mercy, 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 mercy over my business, mercy, mercy, mercy over my contemplations, mercy, mercy, mercy over my destiny, so shall it be, in Jesus precious name we pray. Somebody jump up and say, Amen. Amen. I decree mercy over your life. I decree mercy over your family. I stand upon the platform of grace of this ministry. And I stand upon the voice of God's servant. I stand upon the authority of his ministry. I'm calling. I am speaking that mercy shall chess you. Mercy shall overtake you. Mercy in 2023 shall go before you. Mercy shall make a way for you. Mercy shall make crooked paths straight. Mercy shall overcome every hate on your life. In the name of Jesus. Mercy shall make abundance of what God has said come to pass in your life. Mercy shall bring to performance every promises of the Lord in your life. 
so shall it be if that is you rise up and shout amen shout a lot of amen shout a lot of amen hallelujah lift up your hands and begin to give god praise we are taking the next prayer say father i thank you because i am alive tonight let's give him praise lift up your voice and exalt the name of the lord lord tonight i thank you somebody lift up your voice and give god praise we just have two prayer points here lift up your voice lord i thank you can i hear somebody who know that is alive not by his strength not by his power but by the grace of God begin to thank him I give you praise for in Jesus precious name we pray beloved we are praying tonight for my seed of dominion the text there says Isaiah 43 verse 18 he said remember ye not the former things neither consider the things of old verse 19 say behold I will do a new tonight you are going to pray Lord as I enter 2023 do a new thing in my home do a new thing in my family do a new thing in my marriage do a new thing in my job come on somebody pray like you mean it tonight Lord a new thing somebody pray in 2023 in my marriage in my home in my business in my career do a new thing do a new thing we stand on the grace that commission is coming on together and we say lord as we are entering 2023 do a new thing lord and i'm all about equa maleka embando in jesus precious name we pray see what he says there now it shall spring forth shall ye not know it i will make a way in the wilderness lord in 2023 make a way in the wilderness for me open your mouth and pray rivers in the desert mashakapa even though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death fear no evil god says i will walk i am can i see somebody Aquata, Aquata, Aquata. Somebody pray. Make a way. I don't know. Make a way. A shatter. The way that you did not see in 2022, in 2023. As we stand here, it's an assurance. I will make a way. Every eyes will see it. Makosaba, Ekadata, Ekadata, Ekadata. Somebody pray. Maladadada, 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 Ratataka, Ratadada, Ratadada, Ratadada. In the business, wake away. Oh, Shaba, Makwa, Ekwatata, in the Badaba, Regadada, Rababa. In Jesus, precious name, we pray. You are going to find a neighbor. We are going to prophesy Isaiah chapter 60, verse 1, into the life of that neighbor. That is what is going to happen in 2023. Find a neighbor. It says, Arise, shine.
for the light has come the glory of the Lord hey shall what shall reason upon you say my neighbor my neighbor tonight arise shine your glory has come the glory has come the glory is upon you open your mouth and pray prophesy to your neighbor you are prophesying arise shine for the light has come the glory of the lord is risen upon you yes lord somebody asked for the glory to come upon your sister on your brother Ah, he did it, he did it, he did it. My soap, papa, my soap, papa. All right, I had a dad. You don't know what you are doing now. You are bringing your brother from the pit that he was, you are bringing your sister from the place of limitation. You are saying to him or her, Arise and shine. I had to pala, my copper, my copper, hey, Saba, the glory. I had a dad. The glory is a beautifier. The glory is a changer. The glory attractor. The glory promoter. The glory lifter. The glory bring new thing. Father, today, as we enter, I prophesy with my eyes open. Hey, Kababosa. Yes, a new thing is happening. I had a dad. Aquatetea. Masopaba. Epanoko. Bedondo, Yaquania, a Sakato, a Shadadada, Ratada. Lord, we are rising, we are taking over, we are rising, we are taking over. My brother, your season to rise and shine. My brother, I prophesy, oh Quaquata, in Jesus' wonderful name, we pray. Lift up your hands. Oh my God, I, I, I just imagine what the Lord is saying to me, that when Ezekiel went to the pool in the valley of dry bones, I stand under the grace that commissioned dominion gate. God said to Ezekiel, prophesy as I have commanded you. I speak to you tonight. I prophesy to my brothers, my sisters, my mommy and daddy. I said to you, arise and shine. For the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Arise, take over, dominate, win, conquer, shine move forward in the name of jesus if you're excited come on shout amen no you're not shouting like you're excited if somebody know that he or she is excited come on shout amen hallelujah have your wonderful seat if they leave me oh ah. hallelujah somebody say i'm feeling good are you feeling good i am feeling good it is time for testimony i will well welcome pastor monday Kato to anchor the time of testimony jam your hands together hallelujah praise the lord the lord is good it is time to declare God's faithfulness. It is time to declare His goodness. Hallelujah. It is testimony time. Please, if you are testifying, please just your hand up and come forward. Hallelujah. Come, come forward, come forward, come forward. Please let us go straight to the points. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I wish to be the first and I was the first. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Lord, I'm here to thank you. I lost my daddy 2009. 
This 2022 had been a blessed year for me. But the devil wanted to take my mommy. August during the convention, I told us that she was calling. They were calling me, leave this place, come and come to Badagri. Come. I said, I can't leave where I am now. But I left later, I went to see her. She was sick. Brethren, lo and behold, I went back. My mommy was not, I couldn't recognize her. Somebody that has this chubby body was so slim. I saw my mommy, I, I didn't want to cry in front of her. But as she was, if I, if I would be at her back, be shedding tears. And I remember how it all happened 2009. I said, God is not possible. And I left, I prayed. And um, my joy is that she herself found her way to satellite and came to my auntie's place. You know, I recently made her hair so that she can look like a momo. I want to thank God. Even before she went back to the house, her body started coming back. Everything came back to life. Everything. Lord, I thank you. How would he have been in 2022? What would the enemy say? That they've gotten her. Lord, I'm a seed from Timothy. And I've been in your house. I am saying thank you for life. Glory be unto your name. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. Praise the Lord. Somebody shout a 2022. Hallelujah. 2023 is coming. I want to stand here to give thanks unto the Lord for his faithfulness. I want to thank him because when I started 2022, I started it on a very rough patch. You know, it was very rough, very tight, very strong. I want to thank him because I am not ending this year the way I started. I was jobless in 2022 January, but I can tell you right here and right now that I am working with the Nigerian Airspace Management. I, the, 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 the funny aspect of it is the department that I was posted to, I didn't believe it because they don't post a, a, a new appointment to that department, but I was posted there because I told God, I said, God, please, in this ministry that I have found myself, make me, make me relevant. I want to be relevant. I want to be useful. And I want to thank the Lord because this past month that I have started working, it has been God. I want to say you that has done this, may your name and your name alone be glorified in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. If I they count all the things we God they do for my life, number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, he a plenty, plenty. I no go fi can tamo can table. Hallelujah. This God is too good. He has been a wonderful God to me right from when I got married to date. This year make my marriage seven good years. I appreciate him for his faithfulness towards me, for his kindness. The compound where I am living, I am the smallest in that very compound. Hallelujah. So my landlady was so sick started having convulsion at her old age. This thing happened to her twice. And the second, the second one almost took her life. In my own, as in on my own, I, I interceded that, uh, God, please heal this woman. And she spent two good weeks in, in the hospital. When she came back to the house, in my dream, I saw her. She traveled to the village and the next thing I saw again, I saw her with some men in the compound. They are telling her, who do you want us to transfer this sickness to? And immediately I was coming. 
And she said, yes, that woman, mommy Tolua, yes, give, that, give the sickness to her. And I woke up, I said, ah. it was to two. I was not wondering, why would this woman transfer this thing to me? I'm not a family member, I'm just a tenant in your place. To call the old story short, I began to pray. And along the line, that same week, she traveled. I went to work, I came back, the shop was locked. I, I just overlooked. Second day again, I was not asking the granddaughter, where is mama? Say she has traveled to Jebu. Immediately, I remember that, that dream. And I began to pray. From that day, when mama came back, me and her, you know, we are not, if I greet her, she'll be doing somehow. I knew that something is about to happen. And when our house rent due to renew, she said, I don't want you people in this house again. I want you to go. I said, I've, I've seen it. I said, God, thank you. Because I've been telling my husband, but this is the reason. But God did not put me and my family to shame. Hallelujah. August, our house rent due was expired, want to renew September, and they rejected the money. I went back to God. I said, Father, you are not only giving me a home, as in a comfortable one. That is what I want. And I want to return all glory to this King of glory. The one that when you relied on, he never fails. When you call upon him, he's there to answer. He's the almighty. He's the beginning that has no ending. He's the first and the last. The opusi of good, the pillar of my soul. But I say thank you because as I'm talking to you, I am in a new home. Yeah. Hallelujah. The Lord did it in a way that I was not even expecting it. I told him, Father, do it for me. Because Mama thought, after telling my husband, she taught me. I will come and start begging. Mama, please now, why do, you allow, why do you want us to leave? Me, I've already understood what was going on. So I, I didn't go for her to beg her or to negotiate anything. But I went back to my king, to my maker. I said, Father, make a way where there seems there is no way. And wish he has done it for me. Father, I said, thank you. Thank you for your protections upon my husband's life. Thank you for his work. Thank you, thank you. I say, may your name and your name and your name alone be highly exalted in Jesus' name. Praise, praise, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Merry Christmas, everybody, and Happy New Year in, in a few minutes' time. I just want to thank God for my life and the life of my family. You know, when the one pastor came here, I forgot the name, and I told the pastor about my pain after my operation. I told the pastor, I said, for the past three years, I've given birth now. I cannot stand up too much like that. And the pastor touched me and everything, everything just disappeared. And after that day, I've been moving freely. But the devil came and gave me one powerful one. In fact, uh, this one, the devil brought it with fact, so many demons of the thing just came back. Ah, I said, God, I said, does it mean that this pastor, after praying, the devil has to come back? I said, why well, no problem? So I started talking to my husband. I said, ah, he attacked me. He attacked my son, my daughter. Even the devil just came like that. But I want to thank God that the devil came late. The devil came late. The day I entered the apostle office, I said, ah, you are back from America. See, you will, <laughs> what did you bring? He said, come and take chocolate. You this stubborn daughter. I entered there. He gave me two chocolates. I licked the chocolate. After I, after I licked that chocolate, the thing just, I don't know how the thing was melting down. I say, ah, this, this dominion gate, hey, let, me tell, let me be honest, there is God in this dominion gate. Since I did my marriage, although there is up, up and down, asthma problems, so many things. Even the day Pastor Abraham saw me in my office day, he said, you are working here. That is the same day I was sacked. I was sacked for just because of Pastor. He said, ah, you are working here, thank God, congratulations. That is the same day he told me congratulations. That is the same day they said I should come and go. I said, ah, ah this one, another one again. After bringing plenty of bag of rice and so many things, without no anything. They said I should just go. I said, ah, so, so I don't work. I can't see tomatoes and everything, so I will go like that. I said, no problem. But on that day, I received alerts from America. Alerts was entering my phone. Mother was telling me, I said, no worry, you're not going to understand. Too many alerts. And I got, I got a call from America. I said, don't worry. Everything that you are planning, let me know. Let me know. Some people in this church, they want to hear secrets. They want to hear your, your things to come and work against it. 
but let me keep it for next next 31st night. You will hear the testimony. Praise the Lord. And I want to thank God for my brother's life, the one that did the operation. You are here where I testify. You know that after the operation, I cannot talk. But now he called me and said, I'm talking well. So I want to give God all the praises and all the adoration. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Just praise the Lord. Dominion Gate, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When people are pointing at Tony, they will say, look at this fat one, this fat one I'm talking about. I was not like this. It's only God's blessings. I want to thank God today for today is the ninth year. Or oh, should I say ninth anniversary in Dominion Gate? Praise the Lord. When I came into this church, I was sitting at the back of, at the extreme back, with my hackett polo, blue and white, and we will not forget it. Do you know the person that gave me here? Minister Adez. He's the only person I recognized that very night. Praise the Lord. So, say happy birthday to me now. On the million gate. <laughs> Praise the Lord. When I came into this church, I was still young. I also think I was thinking like a young boy then. But God be, began His process in my life, and then I will, I will be praying. If I look at my uh, what did I say plan, my yearly plan. Is almost 15 in number. I will say, God, when will you answer me? I want to have a, a big shop. I want to marry. I want to buy a car. I want to have children. I want to build. I want to have land here. I want. Hey! And I will say to myself, to be a man is not a day job. But I want to thank God today that almost all these things in my yearly plan has been conquered. Praise the Lord. <laughs> you know why I'm laughing? Because I was I was in my shop last two weeks or last week and I was remembering, reflecting on how God started with me. And I discovered that almost everything I got was through God's favor and miracle. Whatever God is doing it for me, there are there was or there 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 are this kind of sign that you will put so that whenever i reflect i reflect on it i will know that truly this is a miracle i remember when i paid my house rent from one room to flat i did not prepare for it it was uh, uh, the key mike elder brother that came back from gabon a big gambia said that one of my friends is building a very fine house there if you know someone, just go there and pay. It's very fine. That's what I eat, all these things. I was like, eh? And my house rent is still, I just paid it. So I still have up to eight months. So okay, let me go and see it. When I saw the house, I said, God, wow. It's like you have something for me. Immediately, I called the landlord. The landlord said, ah, the house is already full. Even somebody has deposited, uh, it's like 100,000 in it. I said, no. I want that one. Then I asked the king, my brother, to talk to him. Say, ah, it's my brother. Just do it for him. And the guy's money was returned. Do you know what happened? I paid half. I did not pay complete, though. I paid half. And I told him, oh, beg, no verse. On Friday, we complete it. It's okay, no problem. I paid. Why? I got the house. In my shop, the same thing happened. Somebody paid 50000 to collect it. And one of my boss said, ah, I have this shop there. Someone has given me 50000 I said, I need that shop. He said, okay, just leave me. I know what I'm doing. He said, okay. 
What do you want to do? Okay, let me give that person to a Friday. If that person will not complete it. He gave the person up to Friday. He did not make it. I wrote check of 300,000. Up front, three weeks. And I gave the man. Bah! He said, ah, three weeks, no problem. You're my guy, you're my guy. Enter. Now, so I pay. That money returned. Now, so let me not be going round and right. Is, is it how I bought my car? Is it how I did everything? But what brought me here today is to thank God for crowning this year for me. You know, we have been praying. It's, it's like Psalm chapter 65, verse 11. Say that God shall crown your, your year with fatness. And, the, and my part dropping. Praise the Lord. After Thanksgiving, you people know that I am among the committee in Thanksgiving. And we did all we could. We thought that maybe this year is wrapping up. We thought that maybe God has finished with us for this year. Some people have said our church has ended though. We'll be looking at January. But in my heart, I still have two things. That was why when I was giving my testimony in Thanksgiving, I did not express myself. I just do a drop what I want. I did not say such things. I have two burdens in my heart. Praise the Lord. Please, two minutes, I beg. I'm rounding up. And number one, after that convention, I did number one. But I say, God, it remain one. And this one is the most important. I went to daddy and I told daddy, daddy said, it's good though. Just think about it. But I want to tell you today that I am a landowner in zone two. That's my number two. <laughs> you know, whenever you fell in love with something, you know, this church, I have been, I have tried not to be far from it. And I said that I will not pack out until I find a house or a land in this area. But I want to thank this God for giving me that opportunity to be a landowner in zone two. Church, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I want to thank God for all his mercies, all his faithfulness. For the last three to five years, I and my elder sister, we've been trying to build a house for my father. Every year we would raise money, we would make plans. I would travel to Ghana and something would just happen. We would not build. Something will always happen. So this year, after the ordination, I went to home. I told my sister, I'm coming. And it was as if nothing will happen again. I said, sister, I am now a pastor. This house, we will build it. And to the glory of God, we dug the foundation, we filled it, we started the house, we raised it up to the linted level. Right now, they are molding blocks again. And I want to thank God. Because it was as if it was becoming a shame, praise the Lord. And only God could have done it. When I was returning back from Ghana, it was late and I got to the border. I crossed the border and then four military men. You know, you don't joke with soldier men at the border. They just surrounded me. Hey, who are you? Blah, 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 blah. And I was answering questions. I was like, ah, ah. Something said, what will apostle do in this situation? I said, first of all, he will introduce himself. So immediately I said, I am Pastor Emmanuel. He said, ah, you be pastor? Oh, yeah, pray for us. I now said, what prayer will apostle pray? He said, an intelligent prayer. So I said, David was supposed to be in the battlefield, but he was wasting time in the balcony. And we all know the story. And I now went, I told him, I said, from today, nobody will gamble with your life. Nobody will send you to the battlefront just to kill you. And all of them were like, amen, sir, amen, sir, amen, sir. They cleared me. Shishi. And no pain. <laughs> praise the Lord. I want to give God all the praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to thank God for God's faithfulness over my womb. For my family, I don't know where to start. Just like Harry used to say, praise the Lord. 
God is faithful. Hallelujah. I give him all the glory for all he's doing in my life and in my family. To him be all the glory. In Jesus' name. Let's go ahead and just say, Father, we thank you. We are all bunch of testimonies. We are all bunch of testimonies. I remember last year, prophecy went ahead of us that every one of us will live to come with, to see the next year. And here we are. We are not just here, you know, with pain, but we are here, you know, gloriously rejoicing in the Lord. Father, we are saying thank you. Father, receive all the glory. Thank you, Lord, for your children that have come to testify of your goodness. Father, receive all the glory in the name of Jesus. Is it your daughter, Lord, that you gave a job? Father, receive all the glory. Oh, is it our mommy that you healed? Oh, Lord. It can only be you, oh, Lord. My Father, my God, receive all honor in the name of Jesus. Is it your daughter, oh, Lord, that you, that you, you even gave her all a lot from, from, from abroad? Father, we say thank you. Thank you for your daughter, Lord, that you delivered, oh, Lord, from that woman, oh, that, that wicked uh, woman that owns that house. Father, receive all the glory. Father, in all, oh, Lord, my Father, my God, receive all the glory. Lord, receive all honor in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, dependable God. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Praise the Lord. Uh, let us put our hand in our pocket and bring a tangible offering to appreciate this God who has kept us from January up to this December. Bring something tangible that when God sees it, he will be forced to do more for you. As we bring it, may we be on our feet and lift up our hands up unto the Lord. In Jesus' name. The most high God will appreciate you. The ascent of the days, we have come to say thank you. Lord God Almighty, thanksgiving shall not cease in our mouth. Lord, we stand lifting our hands up unto you with a token of what you have from what you have given to us. Papa, we are appreciating you. We are saying, Jehovah Lord, as we lift it up, Lord. Papa, receive it and bless us the more. In the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Jehovah Lord God Almighty, King of all glory, because Lord, you will give us emergency thanksgiving, Lord. As we step into 2023, Jehovah Lord, Papa Lord, we shall continually glorify you, Lord, in the land of the living. We shall continually, Lord Almighty, appreciate you for your doing upon our lives, upon our homes, Lord. Papa, we say once again, thank you, Lord, and accept our offering, Lord, unto you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Lord, we lift up your name with a heart full of praises. Of the Lord, oh, oh, in the highest, oh, Santa, oh, 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 oh, Yourself of the Lord God Lord we lift up your name With a heart full of praises Be yourself to the Lord God Oh 
Oh glory, oh glory, oh glory to the King of Kings. Oh glory, oh glory, oh glory. Let the lift up your name with a heart full of praises. Oh, be a song that the Lord got. I go help Jesus where show me how to pray love oh. I go praise Jesus where can die to say to me free everybody praise the more praise the more where show me how to pray I go help me where come die if you know you are sitting, just rise up on your feet as we give the praises. Give the Lord a shout of victory. I go praise Jesus. Where can I to set me free? Everybody praise the Lord. Where show me? I go help. I go help me. Where can I? Where my time? Let's put our hands together. Let's put our hands together. Every living soul in the hall, put your hands together. I cannot see the people upstairs. Put your hands together. Are you together with us? Amen. Put your hands together. Celebrate Jesus. If your hand is still living, celebrate Jesus. Amen. Celebrate Jesus. The Lord bless every one of us. Amen. Shall we be seated? God bless you. Hallelujah. Nice to see the church of God once again in 2022. Praise the Lord. One thing I observed while the offering was going on is I could see little babies. People are just carrying babies. So Dominion Gate is producing babies. Praise the Lord. Once again, let's celebrate Jesus. Amen. The Lord bless every one of us. Hallelujah. Yeah, right now we want to recognize and welcome those the angels that are worshipping with us for the very first time tonight. If this is your first time of entering into this auditorium, this sanctuary, if this is your first time of worshipping with us, we want to specially recognize you. We want to uh, appreciate God for your life. We want to welcome you, uh, the Dominion We. Praise the Lord. So do not shy. If this is your first time of worshipping with us, you are not a stranger. You are not a visitor. Just that it's the first time that you are worshipping with us. Remember somebody's uh, testimony tonight. He said, the very first time I entered here, I was like this, like this. Next year will be the time that you will testify that when I enter on the 31st day of 2022, I was like this, like this. So without wasting more time, if you are worshiping with us for the very first time, just stand up, stand up, stand up. Don't be shy. Even if you are the only person, don't be shy. You don't need to be shy. You are a special kind of somebody. Don't be shy. If you are worshiping with us, don't be shy. Just come forward. Come forward. Celebrate them. Celebrate them. Oh yeah, come forward. Come forward. Come, let's come forward. Come forward. Just be coming forward. Those of you that are worshiping with us for the first time, mommy, you are welcome. You can see mommy is walking majestically. Are there not people upstairs? Ah, those of you upstairs, come, come, come. Just come, come. Come, come. There's something special for you. We love you, but Jesus love you more. Welcome in your Love you all. 
Amen. Praise the Lord. Church of God. Uh, let's sit down. Amen. You can see you are peculiar people now. If not for grace of God, uh, you people can sack us from this church. Now don't nearly place the pastors yourself. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. You heard what that song said. He said, we are happy to welcome you. You are special people. He said, we love you with the word of God. Are you with me? We love you with the love of God. It's God that has brought you here. And we believe that what you have started in your life, it will perfect in Jesus' name. It's not by accident that you are here. There's something that the Lord is about to do in your life. And that is what you... Don't just look at it that I have just joined these people to shout hallelujah or praise the Lord that we go. Be convinced. Are you with me? Be convinced. Be assured that there is something that God is about to do in your life tonight. And I believe God that you will not miss that thing in the mighty name of Jesus. So whatsoever that they ask you to do tonight, do. Like I said, you are not visitor, you are not stranger. Are you with me? The house, we are one family. There's no ritual, there's nothing for you to become a member of Dominion Gates. We are one. Are you with me? And the Lord bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. On behalf of our Father and the Lord, the set man, Apostle Dr. Patrick Kuchulu and the wife, you still see the apostle and you've seen the wife and every other member of this wonderful family. We want to welcome you tonight and we pray that your uh, participation, participation in this service will be enriching and we had value to your life in Jesus' name. One thing I know is that you will not go back home empty-handed in Jesus' name. I want you to say it, I will not go home empty-handed. I will not go home empty-handed in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. I want you to lift your hand. Every one of us that are seated here, let's lift your hand, let's celebrate them, let's pray for them. Point at them, point your finger at them, and pray for them. That the Lord that has pastored their feet here, they will not go home empty-handed in Jesus' name. The Lord will establish their feet in the mighty name of Jesus. The same grace that is making someone tonight to celebrate the anniversary of next year that he entered Dominion Gate Ministry. We also establish this one, sir, in the mighty name of Jesus whatsoever be that burden that you have brought before the presence of the Lord whatsoever be that thing that you are expecting the Lord to do unto you tonight God will not fail you in the mighty name of Jesus Father we thank you Lord we want to thank you for counting this one word to celebrate with us in this assembly and we pray that the blessing that you have deposited here we follow them in the mighty name of jesus that you will establish your feet in jesus name that they will not regret ever coming here tonight in the mighty name of jesus in jesus name we pray amen it is our custom here to know you better are you with me all we just want you to do is that, uh, you see that uh, pastor that is here, you just march to that place, they'll give you a form to fill, please express yourself, let us know you, let us know your prayer points, and we keep on praying for you. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Just follow Pastor Monday Ekato. Let's celebrate them, celebrate them, celebrate them, you're welcome. Just follow that pastor, it will soon release you. Don't worry, just follow that pastor, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. If you are still in the, uh, in, the, in the midst and you are yet to come out, please, it's not too late. The Lord bless every one of us. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Hallelujah. Are you excited to be here tonight? I'm excited. I want to present to you one of the best. The best of the best in satellite town. They are the best. When you see them, you know they are the best. Can we jam our hands together as we welcome to the podium the anointed dominion voices? Jam your hands together as they come up. Emi oiba chibe mi 
khushi wo alon chola para aye ba Did a lot fight the battle of anyone here tonight? Can you just lift up your hands and wave it to Jesus? Thank you for not leaving me to the wishes of my enemy. Thank you for fighting my battles for me, Jehovah, all the way When the enemy came like a flood, Jehovah, you rose up your standard against them. Up your standard against them. Thank you for fighting my battles for me, Jehovah. Oh, yeah. You say thank you for fighting my battles for me, Jehovah. Oh, yeah. Thank you for fighting my battles for me, Jehovah. Oh, yeah. You say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You know the God that has given you victory over 2022. You know that it is not by your certificates, it is not by your strength, but by his mercy. And you want to make his heart glad, you want to call him sweet names. We cannot overdo this song, we cannot over worship God. Can you wave those hands and say thank you, Daddy? Thank you, Daddy. Say thank you, my daddy. Thank you, my daddy. Say thank you, my daddy. Thank you, my daddy. So it is okay if we we'll call God our daddy again. Oh yes. Because he's he's never tired of fattering us. Let me use that word. <laughs> ah, yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My daddy, my, my daddy. Your baby sing. 
I'll be singing and dancing and shouting for the rest of eternity. My daddy, my daddy, your love I sing. I'll be singing and dancing and shouting for the rest of it. My lover, my lover, my lover, my lover. Your baby is singing. Your baby is singing. I'll be singing that you. I'll be singing and dancing and shouting for the rest of eternity. And the church calling my daddy. My daddy, my daddy. Your daddy, are you his baby? Your baby is singing. I'll be singing. I'll be singing and dancing and shouting for the rest of eternity. So we declare our everlasting love to him because he has loved us with an everlasting love. Come on, son, deli abarada be kosa. Mande ki balada. See the end, only you. Sit in heaven last. Those who sit in heaven last. I sit in heaven, so I laugh. I sit in heaven, so I laugh. He will sit in heaven last. He will sit in heaven last. Those who 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 sit in heaven last. I sit in heaven, so I laugh. I sit in heaven, so I laugh. My daddy, my daddy, your baby is singing. 
I will be singing and dancing and shouting for the rest of it. Say, my daddy, my daddy, my daddy, my daddy, your baby is singing. Oh, baby is singing. I will be singing. Oh, Jesus, my Jesus, my Jesus, my lover, my lover. Let's lift up our voice and worship Him. Oh, Hallelujah. I am here tonight by the grace of God. To cross you over to the new year. Amen. Now listen to me. I've been sent by God to cross you over to the year that heaven has been waiting for you on the earth. Hallelujah. So I'm here for just three short businesses. Number one. I am going to lead you a warfare prayer to cross. Hallelujah. And when we cross, we are going to spend another 30 minutes to give you a prophetic definition of the new year and then anoint your head. I want to beg you when we begin to shout for the new year, don't be so excited that you forget to receive the covering for the new year this maintenance design is a crossover service so it is beyond just the excitement the clapping of hands the shouting the calling of your neighbor you have to cross well so help me tell you your neighbor you have to cross well you have to, cross well. You have to be attentive you have to be attentive and then you have to comply to all the instructions in jesus name amen one more time lift your hands to heaven and thank god for counting your worthy to be alive counting you worthy to be alive to see the last minutes of 2022 Lord, we bless your name. We all know your name. We exalt your name. Thank you, Thou art our God, our strength, Thank you, our shield, our buckler, our deliverer. We bless you, Jesus. We bless you, baby. To God be the glory, great things He has done. So love me.
going to Yatuta. You shall cross over with a shout of praise. You are crossing over. You and your family shall rejoice in the new year. expectations in 2022 shall not cross over with you to 2023 the God we serve is a faithful God the Bible says he promises and does not fail wise children of God runs with the promises of God Whatsoever has made it impossible for you to actualize your expectation in 2022 is not crossing over with you to 2023. Amen. So the best prayer you are going to pray if there's a covenant in your family. The whole destiny is bound. If there's a covenant in your locations, the whole destiny is bound. This night, that covenant for your sake shall be broken in the name of Jesus. Amen. Those of you in the overflow outside, we are praying so you have to rise up. Don't say you are not inside the hall. Those of you in the gallery, you are we are praying, so you are going to pray. I want you to know today that God is bigger than every other God of power. Yes, sir. Are you here? Yes, sir. The covenant that held your father, held your mother, held anything power, and they keep holding you from year to year, they are not crossing over with you. Amen. Are you ready to pray? Yes, By the blood of Jesus Christ. By the blood of Jesus Christ. Anything I don't know in my foundation has no business with my life. As I cross over to 2023, I command those covenants in my foundation. Aspire and be disconnected. Aspire and be disconnected. Aspire and be disconnected. Speak to that to be inspired. Speak to that to be disconnected for your hand, for your life, for your blood, for your system. Everything holding you backward, holding you in stagnation. Break them up. Rakapa today. He commanded Cassia. Rakapa Yalada. He could robo Sukata. Let them be disconnected. Let them be disconnected. Let them be disconnected. Let them be destroyed. 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 Every foundation of power. Every foundation of problem. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. When we traveled last week. 
to the village. Somebody has been sick since February. He has run virtually test everywhere. He has gone everywhere and spent money. But the sickness was not known. You have to know the sickness before you can cure the sickness. Devil hid the name and definition of the sickness. And one of the day we came with all the team, I said, pray for her. I will pray for her. And yesterday, as I go to the hospital, it went. The same hospital we've been going. They were able to see what they have never seen in eight months. Are we here? Yes, sir. There's a solution for your life. Amen. I'm not hearing you. you amen. Blood of Jesus Christ. By the blood of Jesus Christ. Anything hidden in my body. Anything hidden in, hidden my, body. in my blood. Hidden in my blood. To weaken my life. To weaken my life. Expire with 2022. Ay, 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 ay. Expire with 2022. He cut a two salada. Expire with 2022. A capatu se kata. A rakata kata yarana. Rakapatu sa. Ayale. Katia, rana mara kapata, ilaga pata katala, rabada pala lalara, zodeke pata katutelia, robada dabayaba, let them expire, 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 expire. In the name of Jesus, we command everything planted in my blood, planted in my foundation. I command you, die by fire, die by fire, die. By in hey, Jesus name we pray hey. Amen Listen, the top prayer you are going to pray tonight Before the fourth one That you cross over Hey, I see you crossing over Amen hey, Whatsoever has kept you Limited and restricted Are we here? You see, fish Have to be in the water to be fish Human being have to live in the land. Are we here? To be man after God's heart. Now, there are territories. Territories. God may have said you are going to expand everywhere. Are we here? And somebody say, as long as I live, you will remain like this. That's some things I've been trying to do in my family since 2014. As a pastor, with the grace I'm carrying. But this December, I began to do it. Hallelujah. Are we here? Amen. There is grace that is going to provoke your enlargement. Amen. You will not come to this crossover 2023. I, with this same size, Amen. the Lord shall double your size, Amen. the Lord shall enlarge your course. Amen. I want you to pray. Any power in my foundation, any power in my foundation, limiting my life, limiting my life, inspire with 2022 in the name of Jesus. And the power in my life, in my foundation, is let my enlargement, let my enlargement. I call you, inspire, 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 inspire. Espire, I lose the power, I lose the war, I lose the battle line, I lose the limitation, I lose the restriction over your life, over your marriage, over your career. You will not remain like that. I break the wall, I break the yoke of limitations and restrictions on your life. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I wish I could hear living amen. Amen. Shout it like a thunder. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In Galatians chapter 5. That's the last prayer, and I cross you over. 
somebody is crossing over amen somebody is crossing over amen galatians chapter 5 and verse 10 i have confidence in the law i have confidence in you through the law that you will not otherwise mind it but he that troubled you shall bear his judgment whosoever he may be if your mother is behind your pain if your father is behind your pain if your uncle are behind your pain if witches are behind your pain whosoever is troubling your life as 2022 expire receive your trouble whosoever want me to die In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Lift up your hands. The Bible says, listen. I cross you over to 2023 in the name of the Lord Jesus. Right? I cross you over to 2023 in the name of the Lord Jesus. Right? I cross you over by the power and the blood, by the name of Jesus. I cross you over, stay where you are, but everybody in the altar. I cross you over, I cross you over. 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 This is 2023. Hallelujah. I want somebody here to shout seven covenant hallelujah to Jesus. Let's go. Hallelujah. Let's go. Hallelujah. 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 Now listen. Now listen, I've told you why 2023 is more important than the excitement. You have to receive the impartation and the anointing for 2023. We hereby unveil 2023. Somebody say 2023, you are welcome. In the name of Jesus. Now, 
on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Please go back to your seat. There are some things you have to receive into your spirit to know that you are now equipped to live in the new year. Don't shake anybody now. Go back, go back to your seat. Pastors, hear me now, Mama. Praise God. All right. Please don't be seated. Get on your feet. Get on your feet. I'm leaving you here in less than 30 minutes. Now, listen. The Lord revealed the year to me as a year of supernatural engagement. When a man wants to marry a woman, the first thing he will do to show that he's serious is to engage him. In 2023, many of you will be married to God. Listen, time has gone where people will be begging you, serve the Lord. You know, fear the Lord. This year, God shall become your husband. Are you here? When God becomes your husband, it becomes the strong tower over your life. For the name of the Lord is this, the righteous and the safe. You know what the Lord told me when I was in the U.S.? He told me that the seal will be open. He said, America will fight war in 2023. And they will fight nations and they will conquer the nations and they will live for a long time before they will be conquered so there will be crisis but that the covenant shall stand so only those who are god's own will go out and will be sure they will come in in 2023 I release anointing for supernatural engagement. Yeah. Lift up your hands. Every satanic power that have engaged your house, engaged your life, engaged your name over the years, this night, it is hereby disengaged. Amen. You shall be engaged to your God. You shall know your God. You shall walk with your God. In the name of Jesus. Somebody shout a living amen. Number two. God said it shall be a year of occupancy. You know we are like a house. What matters is what is inside us. If God is not inside you, the devil will be inside. So he will engage you to occupy you. And that means that he's going to pour his power and his anointing. This morning's service here, we'll be doing an anointing service. Very heavy one. Praise God. You will experience God in a new dimension. Whether you have been in court and become be called a courtist is not important. This year, the power of the enemy enslaving your life shall expire. The Lord shall come into you. The wickedness against you shall be destroyed. In the name of Jesus Christ. So when we talk about occupancy, we talk about a new bread. So that is new life and the quickening power the power of the holy spirit will come upon you and then we quicken you up things you've not been able to do in 10 years you will do this year yeah. celebration that are never taking place in your family in 10 years they will take place this year yeah. this year the lord shall pay you for 10 years of losses and delay yeah. a miracle power of god shall be visited you the law by the Holy Ghost shall engage your life, engage your hand, engage your mind in the name of Jesus. Are you still here? And the last one talks about manifestation. I know that so many people have been laboring without result. You've done everything to succeed and nothing is working. 
if you don't have the promises of god inside you you can't manifest it it's what you have inside that you can manifest outside so those of you who are struggle for result over time and you couldn't get result this is your year of result yeah. those of you that have labored and labored and labored and there's no reward the more you labor the more you abuse this is your year of special reward yeah. in fact your years of labor shall be rewarded yeah. shall be visited yeah. shall be rewarded yeah. in the name of jesus the power of God is bringing you a result. It bringing you a reward. Your place in your father's house shall be given to you. Your place in your mother's house shall be given to you. Your place in your marriage shall be given to you. Every external power troubling you, troubling your husband and your marriage, they shall expire. And every power holding your destiny, they shall be destroyed. In the name of Jesus. I'll be summarizing right now. I came back from the village project of missions yesterday, the day before yesterday. So I slept. And I began to sing a new song. Come on, somebody lift up your right hand. By the anointing of the Holy Spirit that brought you into 2023, a new song shall be sung in your house. the Lord to cross you into this year with a new song yeah. receive anointing of a new song anointing in your spirit man to receive a new song inspire spirit inspire power to sing a new song to sing a new song your house shall sing a new song your business shall sing a new song your family shall sing a new song your body shall sing a new song in the name of jesus your pain shall disappear to your presence somebody are you here And I was singing the song, Lord, I believe. And because I believe, let that be manifestation. It is what you believe that you will manifest. In 2023, as you believe the Lord for any brand of miracle, you shall manifest miracles. You don't curse a man that God has blessed. Whosoever has cursed you, that every year the cost blinds you from being noticed and you carry the cost from year to year this is dominion gate altar today by the priesthood oil upon my head i break the cost of your life i break the cost of your family i break the cost of your life of your marriage of your destiny and i speak to you move forward by fire So I said, Lord, because I believe, let that be manifestation. Amen. Now listen. Suddenly, I saw people not invited to the meeting. The whole place was crowded. I didn't know where they came from. And we're looking for chairs everywhere. So for this church, it's going to be a year of supernatural growth. Yeah. For you friends and partners of this church who have crossed over from here, you might become part of this family but this shall be your year of enlargement somebody shout enlargement enlargement on every side 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 because god is stepping in come on god is stepping into that soul god is stepping into your house into your family somebody are you here And this is what happened. And suddenly I saw a vial of oil coming from heaven. Without a hand, it was coming down like this. And it was full with oil. And the next thing I noticed was that the oil was poured on my head. And everything in me was soaked. And I had a voice shouting and screaming. 
there is enough oil for the journey of 2023 and that is my prophecy for you today there is enough oil for your hair there is enough oil for your heart there's enough oil for your marriage. There's enough oil for your family. There's enough oil for your family. There's enough oil for your career. There's enough oil for your dream. There's enough oil for your expectation. So much shop, there's enough oil. Lift up your hands. That oil will be an oil of preservation. Amen. You will not die in 2023. Amen. That oil will be an oil of activation. Amen. Whatsoever I died in your hand shall be revived. Amen. That oil shall be an oil of grace. Wheresoever you have been weakened, you are receiving new strength. Somebody, you are receiving strength. 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 In the name of Jesus, shall be an oil of protection, and it shall be an icy can of oil. Some of you, your prosperity will start this year. And this year, by September, the ninth season, some of you from nothing, you will become very wealthy. Grace of God shall intervene in your life. Some of you that have been running up and down for solution, before the end of January, you will celebrate a miracle of solution. In the name of Jesus, the power of God is upon your life. The grace of God is working it out for you. The joy of God is working it out for you. The anointing of God is working it out for you. I bring these prophecies upon your head, upon your household, upon your foundation, and I release upon you the blessings of heaven's above. You shall be supernaturally blessed. The blessings of a beneath. Everything where you are located shall manifest the appointment of God for your life. You shall see the goodness of God in the land of the living. In the name of Jesus. And you will enjoy the blessings of breast. It is called the blessing of your capacity and your skill. None of you will look for job. Job shall look for you. You will not look for business. Business shall look for you. Favor shall clot you. A joy shall clot you. Where you have been unhappy, the Lord shall make you happy. You will be remembered where you have been forgotten. You will be connected where you have been disconnected. Somebody shout a living hallelujah. Now for the instruction for 2022, this bulletin contains 13 prophetic pillars, but we have 15 in the devotional manual. Now our January camp meeting will start on the 2nd, on the 9th, which is Sunday and end on January 22nd. Everything we'll be doing in January camp meeting are here. Praise God and there will be daily prayer in this house we'll be enforcing all that god has told us he said the number one we must reset your mind you must see god before you see situations in the past 10 years no matter what happens around me i see god before i see anything are we here our scripture for the year is psalm 16 verse 11 that will show me the path of life come on are we here so by the grace of god you are expected to pick a copy of this all those of you that came out and visit us we've asked you to receive this free praise god and this document will take your family to the next height praise god all members of the church have to support the printing of this document so the ushers will collect 300 naira from you tonight and then you take your copy now it's our custom that's the last thing we're doing to receive what they call redemptive seed abraham the resident pastor where is he come 
This pastor Abraham is the resident pastor. We were praying here this afternoon, our last afternoon yesterday, and he said he had a lot of people saying this person died in their church, this person died here, but graciously God keeps our life here. One of the secrets is that when we cross over, we hold a seed for the number of the year, of the days of the year, and we lay it at this altar, and we command the seed to resist and contend with any altar that may be on assignment against our life during the year. You are here today. The seed for this year, because of what God is speaking, is a year of double and double and double. Praise God. It's a year of what? Everything will be double. Everything will be double. Now, by the grace of God, this year you'll be paying 2,500. And that's an extra sacrifice of, I don't know, 450. Praise God. So if you have your own for a number of people in your family, my family I was calculating this morning, I have to be paying about 20 something thousand. And mine is right here in my pocket. Praise God. So it is not about you or me, it is about the covenant. So if you have your own, can you please come up to the altar immediately and let us receive it. Write your name on it and the name of your family on it quickly because we will be closing right now. If you are new and you don't understand it, just take a seat, take anything reasonable and come to the altar and place it and come and stand here. Can we do that quickly? That is the first thing we are doing for the new year. If you are done your own, please rise up and come to the altar. We don't have enough time to wait. To, to wait. All of you have been told about this. It has been a custom of this church. 22 years we have been doing this. And God has been keeping us. Remember, it is called a seed this year, a seed of redemption and manifestation. So as you are holding it, be speaking to it. I come to this altar with my seed for redemption from every manner of evil, witchcraft, wickedness, destruction, deprivation contention and i come to stand that i will manifest the quality of god's seed and grace in my life for 2022 stand in the gap for your family call the names of every member of your family no one shall die in my family every altar that i've been hired to fight my family, this seed shall fight them. Every sacrifice at any altar against me, this seed at this altar will resist them and shall break them. Whatever belongs for me to me in 2022, nobody should leave. I'm going to anoint everyone briefly. I'm going to anoint everyone's hand. Whether you come out or you don't come out, that this one thing you're doing is for you and you have to do it right now. Those of you outside, those of you inside, don't go away. Our crossover meeting is not over. We have a few minutes to go. Every altar anywhere and the war against my house, you dominion altar in the name of Jesus, you shall cry against them. I will not bury my beloved ones. No one around me shall lose their job. I will not lose my marriage. I will not lose my husband. I will not lose my wife. I will not lose my children. In a tenable that rises up against my family shall fall for my sake. This altar shall cry against altars, against my life and my family. You don't have your own money here. 
You can write 2,500 in the paper with your phone number and come and come and stand here. This morning you can go home and bring it. Every project in your heart, every project in your heart that you've not been able to execute over the years, this year, grace to execute them shall come upon your life. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. As you stand before me in this altar, in this first day, crossover service of 2023, so you shall stand here by crossover service to 2024. In the name of Jesus, right? Every seed is power with a voice. The voice of this your seed shall cry again the voices of strange sacrifices. Whosoever and whatsoever is against you and your house, in the name of Jesus that cross you over, they shall fall for your sin. This shall be your year of wealth. Your year of good health. Your year of productivity. Your year of fruitfulness. Your year of choice comfort. Amen. Many of you that have never had a car, you will ride a car. Amen. Many of you that never live in a good house, you will live in a good house. Amen. This is your year of engagement, occupancy, and manifestation. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Now, open your hand. I, I, I am going to drop the seed at the altar. I am not your seed. Come on, let's do this fast. Go ahead and just pray as you are laid. Make sure it's a sacrifice. Make sure you are here. God bless you. God bless you. The word upon your life shall prosper. The word spoken on you 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 shall prosper. In the name of Jesus, the word spoken on you shall prosper. The word spoken on you shall prosper. The the word spoken on you shall prosper. No one dies in your hand. No one dies in your family. No business dies in your hand. No losses of anything you put your hand upon. The glory of the Lord is upon your life. The grace of God is speaking and opening doors for you. In the name of Jesus, all that are in your heart will become a testimony in your life. In the name of Jesus, Everything that God has appointed for you will be fulfilled in your very eyes. In the name of Jesus, God is working it out for you as you have already desired. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will give you miracles. Miracles. The Lord will give you miracles. Miracles. The Lord will give you miracles. In the name of Jesus, everything about you will take a new dimension. A new dimension grace is speaking for you grace is speaking for you and your house in the name of jesus grace is speaking for you and your house in the name of jesus grace is speaking for you and your house in the name of jesus everything about you we will announce god to your generation in the name of jesus whosoever that says you are their problem. I see them go down for your sake. In Jesus' mighty name. Let the power of God continue. In Jesus' mighty name. Okay. Praise the Lord. So, for the first time in a long time, our new year is a Sunday. 
So we are starting the new year with celebration. No, I, I, I said to my wife last night, I said, I'm going to dress this Sunday in a man I have not dressed in a long time. Praise God. And they asked me, is it my new year clothes? I said, it's my new year clothes. Praise God. I will look well that will make people notice me because a man and woman carrying grace cannot be ignored. Are you here? By the grace of God, it's going to be an anointing service. I won't tell you. There are more things about it, but I'm not going to tell you about it. We're going to dance. We're going to have undiluted word of God. And then we're going to have a very strong anointing. If God lead me, I may be laying hands on people this morning. The service time is 8 o'clock. Yes, 8 o'clock. Praise God. Many of you might be busy. Remember, it's not just a new year. It is Sunday. The way you start the year will determine how you can run in the year. Praise God. So glad this night also to receive quite a number of our friends. We have not seen you in church for a long time. We have noticed you. And we pray that the Lord Almighty will continue to fulfill the words spoken on your life today. Our uh, administrator, Pastor Femi, has been away on assignment. It's uh, very, very interesting and encouraging to have him this night cross with us. Can we celebrate Pastor Femi Adelike? We have missed him. Please, can you rise up? Praise God. That young man and his family have played a vital role in this house. And uh, we will always remember them. Quite a number of our leaders, Pastor Awoni and um, the Awonis, the elder and the pastor uh, in Abuja. They wanted to come, but they have one or two things that denied them to come. Either Gabi is fine, and uh, no, for one reason or the other, there are quite a number of attention. But we might see quite a number of them this morning. Praise God. Can we celebrate our own? And please, we look forward to seeing you. Those of you that came in this night, we look forward to seeing you this morning. And uh, let's also remind you that um, all ministers affiliated and designated to this house, whether you are minister in training or you are ordained minister or you are a worker, I know a head of department, we are to meet on the second and third. We are going to actually interpret that vision I share with you. Okay, that vision I share with you is a heavy vision, and I will be showing you what it means as a minister. And then on the ninth, we shall start our January camp meeting. Praise God. We are going to take the year very early before the enemy will rise. Come on, right on your feet and tell somebody this is your year. Everything about you will surprise your world. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Uh, for your information, my name is Apostle Dr. Patrick Kutulu. By the grace of God, and the chief servant of this house. And of course, uh, my number is right there. In case you want attention or counseling for any reason, just put up a call. We are here in Zone 2, and by the grace of God, we love Zone 2. And we are praying that God will remember Zone 2. Praise God. And I've seen some of our friends, I don't know. I was told about you last Sunday, so I would like to see you tonight, or if not tonight, maybe um, this morning after service. Shola, is that correct? Okay, so we'd like to meet you again. God bless you. Shall we rise to our feet? Pastor, Pastor Abraham, come. Go to the children's church. Mama. Your mama. Go to the children's church. Shall we share the covenant anthem? We have a, what they call a covenant anthem. It's more like grace in this house. It reminds us of who we are in Christ and what we expect to become. Want to go?